it's Anna and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I want to show you my sticker organization, collection and storage system. Um, I just started using this basically like three or four weeks ago and I love it. Um, I have already um, told you a little bit about this system in my haul where I bought this book this photo book um, and since then two of my planner friends have um, adopted this system and they also love it so I thought maybe it is worth a closer look so when I asked you guys you said you did want to see it so here it is um, this is a photo book um, you can see this is what it looks like from the top and um, this is from a brand called Hama. I think that's a German brand, um, but basically it is a um, photo book for um, photos um, that are uh, I think four by six inches or 10 by 15 centimeters. Um, and this is a book for 200 pictures. Um, and I saw that a couple of um, planner girls used photo books for their sticker storage but they use the little ones um, and I thought well if you can use a little one why can't you use a big one um, for um, complete um, disclosure uh, this is not how I store my kits this is how I store mostly my icons and decorative stickers um, for the kits I have this um, Filofax clip book with clear A5 pouches in it but we'll go into that um, once we have looked at that. Um, so let's just start. This is just a washi um, strip slash sticker that I put in here because it's exactly the right size and it looks so empty. And then I split it into several categories that I have indicated with these um, moleskin like post-it note tabs kind of and it goes from samplers uh, over icons, household, food, hobbies, bay, sports, travel which includes work Then I have emotions, deco and at the very end I have dogs. Um, this is the exact order that I used in my previous sticker storage. I could have switched it around I'm sure but this is how I'm used to look for them um, and I just wanted to keep the order in you know, intact, so you know it would just be very intuitive. So in the beginning, I always have my samplers, um, and these are now organized by shop. So it starts with Hello Petite Paper, and I have all of her awesome like freebies and samplers that come with um, orders in here. And you know, this is actually a leftover from a kit, but it works um, just as well as a sampler. So you can just slide them in here and hypothetically I could even list what stickers are in one of these um, photo pouches but you know most of the time I see it enough or I know my stickers enough that I see you know kind of what's in there and know what's in there. Then we have the little bear and me um, and there is two times uh, this, like the same sampler because I made so many orders close in time and then a little breast cancer awareness sampler. Um, go in there. And then it just goes from create with pen. It shares the space with Ohana stories because they're sisters. Then these are random freebies or ones that I have gotten uh, in Happy Mail like exchange letters with planner friends. Then we have here um, a couple of icons. These are by Lily and Miko Designs and these are foiled by Joyce Design. Here's a couple more icons. These are also mixed with different shops but they're so tiny that together they can share a spot and I can still see every single sticker in there. Um, these two are by Wonderful Designs and they were pretty large sheets. You'll see this again and again. Sometimes I did have to cut sheets in half to make them fit these um, little like picture slots but that worked totally fine and these for example just fit perfectly. Um, one thing that is really funny is that the top section like the top picture um, slot is a tiny bit bigger than the bottom one so this is the same size sticker sheet but the bottom one I had to cut off basically like a millimeter to make it fit into this slot. Um, 
And then we have Joyce Design. These are also by Joyce Design. Um, and these are her um, script icons and these are actually left over from a kit but um, they're basically the same, so they live together. And this is the same thing, just in foiled. Um, these are by Oholo Stationery Co. And more Joyce Design. Um, and then these are the Joyce Design icons, um, once in foiled, once in colorful. And I had to cut it in half, but now you have the top half in foiled and the bottom half in colorful, and that way, you know, this um, paw, for example, is gonna be in colorful on the second sheet so it's like identical just foiled if that makes sense right so I do see what kind of icons are in there even though I half of the sheet is hidden then I have a couple of pink circle icons and this is really one of the success stories of this um, sticker organization um, these would always be in the very back of my icon pi icon sticker piles um, and I would never use them and since I have reorganized my stickers I've already used you can see like four of them so this has been great these are by Miri Mibel from a really long time ago um, but now I have like in the, like a sheet with just movie marquees and stuff but um, this is really good to finally use these again as well and then again here, um, organized by shop, so Oholo Stationery Co. This is a leftover from a um, kit that I used in October, I think. And then this is a May sampler from a really long time ago. Then we have a couple of phone icons, two by Oholo Stationery Co. And one in the back by The Powder World. But if I um, schedule a call um, with a friend, then I just check in here and I see all the phone call um, stickers in one little pouch. Um, we have some mail icons um, and all these like circle icons I try to keep together. Um, these are by Planning World and I got them in also a little happy mail and they're super cute. And then here I have the either like what time is an appointment or did I cancel or reschedule that appointment. Um, same with this one by Sweet Kawhi Design, and this is just a Scribble Prince Co. I think these were January colors and two Erin Condren planners ago. Um, and I do use mostly the icons from this sheet, if anything. And then it goes into Household, right? So Household has something like change sheets. This is a just a little smile uh, cleaning like everything's um, sheet and I almost used up the ironing board so I repurchased um, a sheet with just ironing boards. So that's all in one category and we have um, also the Just a Little Smile um, kawaii cleaning icons, more kawaii cleaning icons by Mirini Bell as well as this um, one that I also got as a present. Um, then we have cleaning flags so it either says clean, clean up, or there is like specific um, rooms, but it's all flags. Uh, clean and dust as well as vacuums. Then girls cleaning, um, this is a kitchen cleaning as well as a dishwasher. So this belongs together because, you know, logically the dishwasher is in the kitchen. Mm. And then here is a big one with laundry. This is like a little cleaning maid that I actually got in a in an oops bag, so I haven't used a single one because I don't really know what I would use that for, but you know, you never know one day. Um, these are also some more kawaii, like everything cleaning stickers that I've had for a really long time. And then it goes over laundry into my huge pile of washing machine stickers. I don't know why I have so many washing machine stickers, but this seems to be a pretty big topic in my life because I have a lot. <laughs> uh, granted, I did get some of these as presents. I think the Sweet Kawaii Design ones are the only ones I actually bought. Um, all the other ones um, I got when um, my, I mean a lot of these stickers, I think I mentioned this before, but my best friend Sarah stopped planning so I inherited all of her stickers and a lot of the ones where I don't know, um, don't know the shop are actually from her that I just inherited. Um, this pile is all of my um, Happy Mail stickers that aren't round icons. So I have like the little powder poochie, I have these little uh, love letter envelopes, more powder poochies, I have these delivery ones um, from Oholo Stationery Co. from um, 
Shop Virgo paper, as well as from Once More With Love. So when, if I have a delivery coming, I can just refer back to this category. Next up is trash. So we have um, quite a few different trash stickers. I have these Kina prints one, um, just a little smile, sweet, quiet design. Um, in Germany, we do have different pickup times for regular trash and recycling. So that's why I have two different ones there, as well as these really cute powder world girls, like these powder poochies that are taking out the trash. Um, so these all, like logically, live in one category. And that works out really, really well. Mm, these are all my weather stickers. I actually love these ones by Joyce Design because they work as headers. So they're like weather headers. So that's really neat. Um, have these Miri Me Bell ones from a really long time ago and these Shop Virgo paper ones. And these ones, they're really neat because you can even like enter the temperature um, of the day. So I should really use these. Every time I see them, I'm like, I should use these. These are awesome. Um, in here, this is my doctor category. I have my crate with pen um, doctor. I have these dentist little teeth, as well as this uh, Violet LeBeau uh, variety sheet of all the kind of things you could do out of doctors. So, you know, I hope I don't have to use them that often. And this is also a sheet that I inherited from Sarah. Um, and next up is my, still in the household category, is the car category. So we have Wash Car by Ohana Story. We have Get Gas by Create With Pen. And then these two are from Sarah. So this is Planner Mania. They're both Planner Mania. So here you can even enter how much money you spent on gas, which is really neat. And I really like them. Um, and then it goes into food, right? Uh, so these are random food stickers um, or ones that really need to be used up. Um, like this one, it ha only has these couple of like um, frappe stickers on there. So I really should use them up. And then there's a couple of samplers and little gifts in here. I really I use so many of these, I love them. Um, then most importantly, my two main food groups, coffee and wine. <laughs> and um, in the coffee category, we have these cute um, Shop Virgo paper mugs. We have some just a little smile mugs. Um, Sweet Quiet Design, these are really, really old. I've had them for probably two years. Love them. Then we have the little version of the to-go cups by Sweet Kawaii Design. And then we have this um, leftover sheet. So this is a variety sheet of all the little snippets that I have collected so they don't like fl like fly around loosely in this organization. So I just took a little piece of paper, cut it to size that it fits in there and stuck every all my leftovers on there. So the two little bees cups are actually from Happy Mail. These are left over from um, monthly kits. Um, these are left over from weekly kits. And um, these are from some sort of Happy Meal from a friend, I don't remember. And you can tell this is the uh, top end of this sheet. Cause I actually, <laughs> I cut off these two rows, sent them to Sarah, and then when Sarah stopped planning, she sent them back to me. Um, so that's why that is cut up like that. But this prevents you from like losing, bending, or breaking these tiny sticker flakes that um, sometimes result from leftovers. Now wine, I also have quite a few. I have this sheet by Oh Hello Stationery Co. This is actually my second sheet of this kind. I've used it up completely um, in my first year of planning, I think. This one is also from Sarah, but it's planning time, um, so that's pretty new to me. Um, these Joyce Design um, cup, uh, like clinking glasses, I love and I use them all the time. I mean, even though, if you think about it, I don't really want to drink like this blue wine or something, but sometimes it's really, really nice to have a color-coordinated clinking glass sticker. So I do appreciate that they come in a million colors, and down here you have um, two rows that are just like white wine and red wine, so that makes that makes more sense. And then we have these like little cocktail glasses, um, and I think these are from a Heidi's little planner. I hope I remember that correctly. 
Um, then we go into um, more baking things. This is a sheet that I cut in half by uh, Basil and Mint. I love this one. Um, such cute uh, baking stuff. But um, I think we'll see, see that later. I probably use it up by now. Um, but I did have a couple of these stickers, basically half of these sheets, um, uh, in a Happy Mail, and I used that up before I um, bought my own. So we have quite a few donuts. These are Basil and Mint, then All Hello Stationery Co. and Basil and Mint again. And this is just a like a collection of unhealthy foods, which is really, really cute. Um, have some kitchen machines, baking, and in here is uh, all kinds of like eating out food. So this is like a Violet LeBeau, all kinds of eating out food. Then we have Oholo Stationery Co. Sushi and Heidi's Little Planner Pizza. Um, and they just all live in here. So if I go out for food, you know, I just check if I have the right kind of food sticker for it. Um, then we have a couple of random fruits up here that were also from an oops bag, so I haven't really used them. We've got strawberries, pumpkins, and lemons. Never know what you might need, strawberry, pumpkins, and lemons. Um, this is my grocery shopping um, pile, so we have Planner Mania, um, Sweet Quai Design, Mirimi Belle, and Powder World. Um, and these are just like little grocery shopping icons. And they do come in handy a lot. Over here I just have, um, this is a Sweet Quai Design sheet that I also shared with a friend. It's just like home lunch and a little baggie, um, as well as dinner time stickers, just um, in case like some meal has some sort of special thing. And then this is just a little, this is how much coffee I need from Create With Pen. Um, and actually, maybe this should move to the coffee pile. You know, because that's that would be more logical. And then, you know, I'll just leave this empty in case some more food stickers arrive <laughs> magically at my doorstep. Um, the next category is hobbies, which is very planner dominated. Um, most of the <laughs> hobbies that I um, denote in my planner are planning, which is, you know, it's logical, but it's also funny. Um, so we have a couple of planner stickers that just say time to plan. This is by Shop Virgo Paper. This is by Sweet Kawaii Design. And then we have um, this two little bees sheet with only planners and coffee left, um, as well as this awesome, the Fox and Pip uh, planner hoarder sticker that is very appropriate for me. And it just sticks out. Um, then we have a, um, half of a Hello Petite Paper Washi sticker sheet and the Anna Hearts Planning like hand-drawn flowery um, icons and these are just, they're all kinds of things but with the printing and washi and letters I thought they'd be most appropriate in the planner area. We have the uh, Fox and Pip sticker with um, my Kate Spade planner as well as one of my favorite Crate with Pen stickers where she's holding the planner and a cup of coffee. More planners. Um, these and these and these and these are by Holo Petite Paper. You can tell I love them. I think they're super cute, but this sticker sheet I really need to start using. This one's still pretty new, and in the back you can see the Powder World Powder Poochie that is planning in her Filofax. Um, over here we have mostly video editing slash YouTube kind of stickers. Um, so we have the Neasy Loves Organizing YouTube sticker, the Sweet Quiet Design TV sticker, and this gorgeous George Design desk sticker that I love to use for editing because this is kind of what my desk looks like. Down here is more TV, um, These this time by a hello teed paper, one time just the TVs and one time a variety sheet with like YouTube, Instagram, movies, shopping and books and another Fox and Pip Planner Addict sheet that is super cute. And these are perfect because they stick out a little bit which, um, you know, it just makes, uh, makes it a little bit longer than the other ones so you can still see um, one row which is perfect. Um, then we have some sewing machines. Um, I do sew, so we have these ones by Heidi's Little Planner, as well as a um, Neasy Loves Organizing and a Sweet Kawaii Design Sheet. Um, and these are like very well loved. I used to sew a lot and go to sewing class every week. Um, I should take that back up. 
But yeah, so that's why I have sewing machine stickers. Then we have basically this Tuli Plans um, Chill and like Shut Eye um, sticker as well as the Sweet Quiet Design Sleep In sticker. And then there's some more like lazy, relax kind of stickers. Like I love this Lazy Day sticker. Um, these flags are perfect and it's just like if I'm having a really lazy day and there's really nothing to put down in my planner, I just like to put a Lazy Day sticker because that makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, so next up is, this is my friends category. So I have the Kina Prince um, girlfriends and the Ohana story like hanging out kind of sticker sheet. I love this. Um, then we have one that is, this category is more like cuddling and playing with babies. So um, I have the crate with pen, playing with a toddler and the Ohana story, just like cuddling all kinds of like toys and pets and whatever. Um, kind of makes sense to put that together. Um, this is my family time um, category. I guess I could cut off the work day and put it in the work category. But you know, this is where it lives right now. Um, and here is some more random like me time. So we have all of the me time stickers by Joyce Design. We have the um, face mask by uh, Ohlo Stationery Co. And then this one is like girls night, coffee date, or painting my nails. Kind of is more like, or planning. I mean, these, these are all things that I would do on a lazy like me time kind of night. Um, and we have nails as their own category with a wonderful designs half sheet and this gorgeous Oh Hello Stationery Co. Um, sheet. These are um, my horn practice and uh, forest time stickers. Um, and I have these crate with pen forest excursion ones and the little bear and me. This is a custom sheet. Um, one I've almost used up and the second one is going strong. Um, and there's like just the regular music lesson, music practice kind of sheet. Um, cause I do have horn class every single week, sometimes twice a week. Um, another thing is this amazing The Little Bear and Me custom sheet that she made just for me. Isn't that just so sweet? Um, and she actually drew my planner, um, wrote Bay Time, then Work Event, Wine and Dine, and Run, and Pilates. I've almost used up, there's one left. Um, but th that was just so sweet. So I do keep these in here, and I had to cut them in half, because they were too high, but this way I can still see all the stickers, which is great. And then down here, this is like a, um, random things. So this one's like basically bills, this is shopping, and this you can see is like haircut, dentist, glasses, doctors. So all kinds of icons of stuff that could come up in, you know, the, a day of my life. So they kind of live in here together. The next category is bay. So this is mostly like date night, love, there's lots of hearts. Um, there's also movie nights in here. Um, so this is, um, I'll show you, this is just like my movie marquee um, sticker sheet by Miri Mibel cut in half. Um, she just like redesigned these or like re, what do you call it, layouted it. Um, because she redid all of her colorful icons, which is super exciting. Um, and then this Planner Mania like movie night kind of sticker. Um, and here is all of my heart stickers and I have a lot of heart stickers. Um, these are um, just like regular pink hearts and then gold foiled pink hearts and then purple and green hearts and then shiny red and all kinds of colors and watercolors and all kinds of colors. I just have a lot of heart stickers. Uh, you can never have enough heart stickers. Um, I love to put them on all kinds of things that are exciting, that have to do with bay, that, you know, I just, I just also love decorating with hearts, but they do make most sense in the bay category. Next up is all kinds of date nights. So I have this breakfast date sheet by Fox and Cactus, the significant otter time haha, <laughs> by Fox and Cactus, as well as the um, date night half of that Anna Hearts planning sheet. Um, then we have a couple of heart buntings as well as this once more with Love Valentine's Day sampler. 
um, that you know kind of just lives in the bay category. Uh, in here is more date nights. So we have the um, wonderful designs uh, date night sheet. One was mine and one is Sarah's. And then we have a sweet quad design. This was in her February kit like two years ago. Um, the, all of these kinds of really cute um, dates. Like we go to bed, to, we go together like peanut butter and jelly. I love it. And this um, uh, the Coffee Monsters Co. The old date couple that I've used a lot of. Um, these are my stickers that I use when Bay is arriving or leaving because um, we currently live in a long distance relationship. Um, so I have the Kina prints, like waiting for Bay kind of thing, and the Ohana story, um, bringing Bay to the train or welcoming Bay from the train kind of sticker. Um, over here I have a Kina print sticker of some sort of movie character but he kind of looks like Bay, so works out really well. And then I have this absolutely amazing Create With Pen, fa Create With Pen FaceTime sticker. Yeah. And down here we have um, the I Love Mom Ohana story. I know it's not particularly Bay, but it says I Love Mom, so it's kind of like a love category. And then here are a couple more like leftover date night stickers, as well as these Valentine's Day teddy bears that I got in a Happy Mail quite a while ago. But we can put that this way around. Um, the next category is sports. So it starts um, with a workout um, script sheet by Harriet Wright Designs. I thought that we would use this all the time, but you can see I've used like one. I really should use that more. Um, but right now, if I go to Pilates, I write Pilates. If I go running, I write running. So workout as such, you know, like a gym workout, since I don't have a gym membership right now, doesn't make a lot of sense right now, but I hope it will again soon. Here's the little variety sheets of all kinds of things that I got. Um, this actually includes clean brushes because it used to be just a hobbies category. But, you know, I'm not gonna tear it off of the paper now. Um, this is my Pilates category. And I have quite a few. Um, I have these cute gymnastics girls that are difficult to see unless you're really close. Um, these are really cute. I think they're by Heidi's Little Planner and then the Once More With Love. This is supposed to be yoga, but I do use it for Pilates as well. And these are just absolutely perfect. These are like gymnastic stickers by Create With Pen, but I love using them for Pilates and I use them all the time. Down here we have running stickers because I do like running. These are um, basically little things uh, stickers by Miri Mibel in the like variety colors, like rainbow colors. And I use them to mark a run in my planner and I also have the Sweet Kawaii Design Go Run sticker, but they're most of the time too big for um, my spread, so I don't really use them that often. Then we have Go Work Out. There's just like a big sheet of flags. Um, these are my gym stickers. Um, I have the um, Mirimi Bell Kawaii gym stickers as well as these super cute uh, Miss Adeline gym girl stickers. Um, and they just live together. Then um, this is my favorite sticker sheet of all time and it doesn't exist anymore. You can only buy this digitally. I think I mentioned this in my plan with me the other week and it really does make me so sad because these girls are so perfect for running and everything. I just love it. Um, but yeah, the wonderful design is purely digital right now, so I can't get these anymore. Then I have a fox and cactus trampoline sticker. I used to have a mini trampoline and wanted to get really into it because it's supposed to be really good for your back, um, but I ended up selling it because it was awful and I hated it. So now I still have this trampoline sticker. I also have bike stickers if we go for some sort of bike tour, technically that would still be in the sports category. So these are just like random sports. Next up is travel and travel does include work, um, but travel comes before work because I always, you know, want to put the like pleasure before <laughs> the work. So it starts with the um, travel information multicolored sheet by Mirimi Bell. This has been such an epic sheet that I love and use all the time whenever I go traveling. I love these little tickets. Um, but yeah, I had to cut it in half because it was a huge sheet. Um, in here we have some more Mirimi Bell travel um, stickers. Got these arrows. 
sometimes I do use that. And then I have these When Art Studios um, stickers. I absolutely love them for the train because the train is exactly one um, like Erin Condren box wide and they're perfect. And if you know anyone who does train stickers that are one box wide like this, please do tell me because I would buy all of them because I'm out. And yeah, that's really, really sad. Um, over here we have my suitcases and um, it's so cute. I mentioned in one of my plan with me's that these suitcases are too big for um, like decorating a half box with. And um, Miri has since um, redone that sheet and now the bottom half has like small suitcases, which I think is so, so sweet. And it's just like, it just shows how much she cares and listens to stuff I say, which is funny. And I love it. Um, but yeah, I use these suitcases all the time. Um, then we have a couple more um, car stickers. I just realized that we have two times a car category. This wash car definitely should be in the other one, but these are more like travel, and like traveling by car. So I have these road stickers and I've used up three sheets of these in the course of my planning. Um, this is my fourth sheet and I used to absolutely love it and I haven't used it in a long time. So, you know, we'll see. Maybe I'll get back into using this, but I don't take as many road trips anymore. So maybe that's why. I also have these wonderful designs, go to and like little car flags, which are perfect and very sweet addictions, car circle icons. So they all live together in travel, but we really should put that wash car into household. You see, talking about it and going through every single um, category like we are doing right now, I don't do it that often. And I do always find what I need, but this definitely should be in here. Uh, like that, because I have all of that. So we were in the travel category. Okay, um, then we have just a couple more travel. I love these little geotags by Once More With Love. And if the color scheme allows, I really like using these travel stickers by Hello Petite Paper. Then we have a flight circle icons as well as trains by Fox and Cactus. These were bought in a try to replace the other ones that I just showed you. And I do use them, I do use them. Um, but they are very, very bright colors. So don't they don't always match my spreads. Then we have a home for when I get home after traveling. And um, since you know flights tend to be early, I keep my wake up early keynote prints sticker sheet in here as well. Um, then it goes into work. Um, as I said, it's travel and work together. So here I just have um, script st stickers. Um, the Harriet Wright designs are just plain black work. And the Sweetie by Life, which is now Bianca's studio, I think. Um, these are like my colorful script stickers that I used to absolutely adore and use all of the time. Um, I just recently got this Crate with Pen work late sticker because that does happen that I work late. I don't always put in my planner. Because I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, maybe one day I will. Um, I also have my um, Sick Unicorn stickers by Harriet Wright Designs in here uh, for when I have a sick day off work. Um, and I love that this one, unicorn is just like watching Netflix. Um, but I do use them when I have a sick day. And then I also have my Yoss Day Off by Kina Prince in here, which is super cute. And um, then I have these script stickers that say Friday and TGIF and day off kind of things. And uh, the F it's Monday and I'm almost out. Definitely need to buy more of these because I love using them. I also love using my Crate with Pen Hump Day as well as Friday stickers. Um, I do be, I, I am very excited about Friday, so perfect. Um, so one thing that I have been loving absolutely loving are these Miss Adeline work girl stickers. I love them for work events, for uh, interviews, for some sort of fair where you represent your co company, like all these kinds of things. And this is the off to work classic black. I only have two left. The off to work pastel small ones. I only have one left. The at work two. I only have two left. And this one, for some reason, it's just not getting a lot of love. Um, it's not that 
uh, not as easy to incorporate in spreads because they don't really work for a lot of events. Um, I don't know. I love these for interviews, like the sitting girls. And these are just like events, so. But in my next haul, you shall see what I have found to replace and replenish this stack. Um, down here is all kinds of money stickers. So um, we have the Once More With Love No Spend stickers, which, you know, it's still very, very funny to me. And the uh, irony does not um, escape me that I paid money to buy a sticker that says don't spend money to buy stickers. <laughs> um, but you have the no spend bunny and the no spend puppy. Um, there's another little variety thing because a lot of kits include payday stickers, but I don't have payday every week. So I do keep them and I just put it on a, uh, this sheet. And then I have this hooray for payday sweet kawaii design sheet. I just wish the colors would work with more spreads because for example, that yellow, it just, it just never works in my spread. Um, but this is the money category. And then I have a couple of studying things. I don't go to university anymore, um, but I still have a lot of study um, stuff because I, I'm i really into like lifelong learning. I'm really into taking classes to obtain some sort of certification. That's like my, that's my thing. So <laughs> I just have a lot of study stickers because I, I just really like studying. Uh, these are by George Design, love them. Um, then I have this Once More With Love and this Once More With Love. They, those were both in an oops bag. Um, and I haven't studied since, so I just have a lot of study stickers. Down here is my Wonderful Designs pile. I um, used a lot of these studying girls. I'm gonna have to show you because they're tiny. Um, but these are really, really sweet and it's just like girl studying and kind of giving up on studying. And I used to um, use those and this like typewriter kind of thing when I wrote my dissertation. Um, but yeah, luckily I'm done with that. Then I have like a laptop and more books, both by Sweet Quiet Design. Some Ohelo Stationery Co. rainbow bookshelves. I love this bookshelf idea because it's like one box wide but the rainbow just doesn't work a lot of times. And then this one is, I think by Sticker Sarah. Um, I got this uh, as a like little happy mail a while ago, but it's very, very school related. So I don't, I don't use it a lot. Um, the next category is emotions. And this is basically for all the little like um, emojis and um, like girls that I don't really know like they don't really work in any category, but you know, it's just kind of like the, or the I'm sorry, um, once more with love sheet or this, these little happy um, pink paper playing girls. It's just, yeah, emotions make a lot of sense because the, then there's also like the sad one and the happy peeking out little Kinachi from Kina Prince. I absolutely love these. Um, look at them, they're just like, no. <laughs> and then we have the not in the mood sheet. And you can see this is something that does happen. The paper of the um, book of this picture album actually does tear. But I mean, it doesn't bother me because it's not my picture album. If it was my picture album, I think I'd be very bothered by it. But um, down here we have a little Coffee Monster Co. happy um, emoji sheet as well as the these little happy pigs and everything, or like tired pigs by Neasy Loves Organizing that she um, gave away as a freebie when she closed her shop. Um, and then I have a lot of Kina print stickers. So I have the big sheets and then I have these this little sheet twice. And this was, I think, a freebie. So I just spread them out like this um, because it's not intuitive what's on the sheet. So these, you really have to see every single sticker in order to know what you have, right? So that's why they are so, that's why there's only one sheet or like a little one over it. Um, cause yeah, it's just a variety sheet and that's very, very difficult to see. Otherwise, unlike this one where I have the same sticker 20 times in one pile. So these are all the unicorn powder poochies. These are the little, little diamond ones. These are the working, like the go to work kind of ones. These are actually, this is also like a little stuck together variety one because they do um, do these um, powder poochies in blonde. And Laura, my friend Laura, she always bought the blonde ones and gave me like a couple of the 
Pato Pucci's on her sheet so I can put these into my planner when she comes to visit me, right? So then we have a blonde one and a brunette one. So I love that little sheet. Um, and then it just continues. We have the spring one, the winter one, the cleaning one, the Valentine's one. Um, and these are all the powder poochies that I have, but this way they are finally organized in a way that I can see them again because I used to have them just in one pile and just, you know, it's not really um, get my use out of them because if you don't see a sticker, you're not going to use it, right? So that's why I love this um, sticker organization. And then the next category is decoration. So these um, stickers don't really serve any sort of purpose. They are just decorative. Um, over here we have my Clever Gal Crafts uh, flags and hearts that I got from Constanza as well as the Fox and Pip bows that I got from her and I think these are so cute. Love, love, love. So these are just purely decorative, you know? Um, then we have a Oh Hello Stationery Co. like leftover deco sheet from that um, Cityscapes kit. Like that was the July subscription. And then I just have these quote stickers. And these are the regular quotes and these are the swearing quotes. Like these are the, I don't even want to say it out loud kind of quotes. Um, and you can see I don't really put these in my planner a lot. I thought I would, I thought it'd be funny, but I just really like the motivational quotes a little bit better. Um, I have this Ohana story um, fall um, sticker sheet, um, but it kind of arrived too late, so it was already winter when I got it, but it would be very cute um, in the fall time, so I do keep it. Um, these are a lot of watercolor decorative stickers. We have Violet LeBeau. This one is Wenda Full Designs. The rest is also Violet LeBeau. Um, so if I have a sheet, a, like a kit that doesn't have a lot of deco, um, I can just, you know, use one of these deco sheets and spice it up a little bit. Then we have a lot of um, summer um, stickers um, from different shops. So we have Miss Sparkle Plans. I think this was a freebie at um, Plansterdam. And then we have this Rory Sweet Addiction summer um, deco sheet. So in summer, <laughs> this is what I shall use. Um, down here we have a couple more decorative pastel things, so, so just like a couple of flags that say like today, hey, remember, and then like little droplets by Wonderful Designs and flags. So these are just like, if I need to spice an area up in my planner, I can just refer back to this deco um, category. Have the Plansterdam 2016 <laughs> Linus Potts freebie, um, that's super cute. Um, as well as these um, like flowery deco things. I also got them from Sarah. Um, we have a couple more floral um, flags. This uh, sheet's by Thule Plans. Uh, that was like in the Thule's favorite things kind of um, surprise bag that I bought. And these um, are from, I think it was like the uh, woodland Floral, the Woodland Floral Kit by True Little Bees that was um, probably my favorite kit ever um, and I loved that week in my planner but that was also probably 2016 so maybe one day I'm gonna have a spread that matches these colors and then I can still use these flags. This one has a lot of buntings um, so we have the Ohlo Stationery Co. One Box um, little buntings and then these ones that I don't know where they're from and this is just like a variety sheet of random ones and it didn't have enough room to fit this one um, but yeah this is just also gifts and everything and sometimes if I don't have a weekend banner I like using that and uh, last thing in the deco category are these lanterns um, this is another sheet that I got from Sarah and I have no idea what this logo, like what shop that is supposed to be. It doesn't say anything. It's like a little caravan. I honestly have no idea. But it's very cute and I love this. Like if there's a garden party or something, I'd love to use this. So I am keeping that. The next, oh, 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 I forgot. At the end of deco, there's birthdays. <laughs> I knew that, I knew that. It just doesn't have its own little sticky note. It should, but you know. I was running out of space and I know that at the end of this book there's birthdays. So we have a couple of balloon stickers. We have this Joyce Design 
um, just colorful balloons that I like for birthdays as well as these Create With Pen like little tinta that has balloons. Um, these are just a couple more decorative like birthday um, flowers and um, leftover deco um, cakes from the Let's Celebrate kit by Mirimi Bell. And we have some Joyce Design circle icons with presents as well as these Sweet Kawaii Design birthday and celebration flags. And down here we have the just a couple of random ones. So the Violet Lebeau, the, um, this one is by Shop Virgo Paper, I think, and the Scribble Prince Grow Happy Birthday. She did a whole kit like this, but I just got the sampler. Um, so if there's somebody's birthday, I can decorate away. Okay, but now to the final category. Ta-da, it's dogs. Um, I used to have a category that was called Peanut and it was way further in my sticker organization. But when my dog Peanut died, I just, I gave away most of the stickers and the few that I kept because my mom's dogs or other people's dogs, I just put way in the back of my sticker organization because I didn't want to see it all the time. I didn't want to like flip through my stickers and every time, you know, I would see Peanut stickers, you know, just like, you know, I just, I don't know. I just didn't want to see it so much. So that's why dogs is like the last category. Um, I'm slowly um, leaving the season of ultimate sadness so I can slowly, you know, deal with it. Um, but yeah, I do have a couple of stickers because my parents have dogs. So I have these Violet LeBeau stickers that are super cute. And I like using these um, when I like dog sit and stuff, which is also why I bought these um, Dachshund um, donation stickers by Mirimi Bell. Um, if you buy this sticker sheet, she donates money to a humane society um, here in Germany. And it's super cute and these are so cute. And she has like all kinds of different cats and dogs, like breeds and colors. So. I just thought that was super cute and I ha absolutely had to get it. Um, then you can see these Kina Prince stickers. Um, there's a, the tiny bit of blonde um, girls, um, but there's also these ones. These used to be my ultimate stickers, me and Peanut. Um, and I gave away most of these, um, but I did keep one sheet just in case and I do use it when I hang out with my mom's little doxy. Um, and I also have this end of Laura's um, sheet because she um, has also a little long haired dachshund and she has blonde hair. So when I see her and um, her dog Margaret, I can use this little sticker, which is perfect. These are just some, um, I think, Korean, like, kawaii dog sheets that I got in, um, I think I got off Amazon a long time ago. And down here we have um, some dog paw um, circles as well as these, like, walking the dog um, pink paper plane stickers that I have used a lot of. Um, there we go. And... Back here we have these super cute corgis and I once have it from Nizi Loves Organizing and from Basil and Mint. And I used to have um, even more by the Glam Planner from some sort of freebie, but I've used those up by now. And I think these are just so, so cute. Um, and down here we have a couple of fox stickers because my dog Peanut, um, he looked he looked a lot like a fox and I just liked the thought of him being a little fox. Um, so I have these station sticker foxes that are super cute. I have these from Basil and Mint. These were also gifted to me, I think by Laura. And these um, like old fox couples are by um, Sweet Kawaii Design. So these are my cute foxes. And last but not least, I have this like winter dog sheet by Nizi Loves Organizing. Um, and that has also served me really, really well. And now, you know, we're at the end. So I have another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I could use an like have a whole another category or two, um, which is super cool. And very excitingly, in the back you have this little like CD um, folder, and I actually use it for. Um, like collecting my rewards and loyalty cards. 
you know, that way I don't use them and I always, I, I don't lose them, I always know where they are. Um, so that's really good. And yeah, it's just a really convenient way to store this many stickers. I mean, this has been a mighty long video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've made it all the way to the end of this video, I do commend you. That is incredible. Um, do leave me a comment if you've made it. I would love to hear from you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful time. Let me know if you are adopting this way of storing your stickers as well and how you get on with it. I'd, I'd be thrilled to see if it works for you as well. Thank you guys and uh, take care and see you again soon. Bye bye.